what are biomarkers and how do we use biomarkers as a uh, for paleoclimatic analysis from pakistan nice to meet you sir okay what are biomarkers so imagine biomarkers as tiny chemical clues left behind by life plants animals etc even microorganisms from a long time ago millions of years ago or at least hundreds of thousands of years ago so these are tiny chemical clues that are left behind by life forms that existed on the planet a long long time ago and they are left behind in the, these these little clues these, these little chemical clues are found in various places they are found in soil they are found in rocks okay they are find, found in ice they are found at the bottoms of lakes and oceans and these clues are used by scientists to learn about what the earth was like a very long time ago so what are the different kinds of biomarkers you have lipids lipids are you can think of them as fats of of ancient organisms so these lipids can stay preserved in ancient sediments and even in ice and they can stay preserved for millions of years so there is one the lipids then you have isotopes like i said these are special versions of atoms carbon 14 etc and these isotopes uh, can tell you about uh, temperatures and etc that existed a long time ago long time in the past then you have pollen and spores so these are these are uh, tiny parts of plants i mean today you have pollen right or you flowers have pollen on top of them and that's part of the uh, of of every plant's reproductory cycle so pollen is pollen and spores uh, spores they are emitted by mushrooms and other other organisms as well so these are tiny parts of plants and various organisms that can show you what kind of plants were growing what kinds of plants and organisms were growing in an, in a specific area and you can also tell what the climate was like depending on the type of pollen and then you have pigments pigments are colors right so these are colors left behind by things like algae you can even find pigments in ancient dinosaur fossils which can actually tell you what the dinosaur feathers look like you know dinosaurs had feathers most dinosaurs had feathers so you can sometimes find pigments embedded in dinosaur fossils and that can tell you what the dinosaurs look like so these pigments you forget about dinosaurs pigments can be left behind by algae so these pigments can tell us about uh, various uh, kinds of conditions in the past what the water condition was like what what the conditions inside oceans were like etc what kind of biological activity ha was happening and so on so you can reconstruct past temperatures you can you can determine the kind of changes that happened in vegetation and water you can uh, look at sediments at the bottoms of lakes and oceans and that can tell you about various ancient environmental conditions like the temperature and even uh, soil ph which is how acidic or alkaline the soil was etc so that's what biomarkers are and we look for biomarkers in these various places like uh, bottom uh, sediments fossils even uh, sediments at the bottoms of uh, at the bottom of uh, lakes and oceans you can look for biomarkers in ice cores so you you go to a glacier and you, and you dig an ice core you take ice cores out of the out of the glacier at various and at various uh, depths below the surface you will know what what the conditions were like based on what you what kind of biomarkers you find whether it's pollen or whether it's whatever else uh, you can even uh, drill uh, into the ice in antarctica where you have very pristine ice and you will find biomarkers from there and you can determine what happened at so and so year you know whether there was a volcanic eruption whether the, the certain kinds of plants were more prevalent and so on so that's what you do marine sediments uh, you look at look at uh, you know sediments which you find in fossils you can look at ice cores and all of this help us understand ancient climatic conditions so that's how biomarkers are an interesting and an important tool that help us understand the ancient climate of our of our planet so yeah that's what biomarkers are